Welcome to Easy Elim, Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth, and today we are going to learn on the topic area of a triangle. And in this case, you are going to look at when you are given three sides. So before we looked at the area of a triangle, when you are given two sides and an angle, we know the normal way of calculating the area of a triangle. You need to get the base and the height. But previously, we looked at the cases where you are not been given the height, but you have been given two sides and an angle. So today, we are going to look at purely three sides. How do we calculate that area? So when only three sides of a triangle are given, either we use a scale drawing or to construct the perpendicular, or we use the formula. This is called the Heros formula. And this is how it looks like. So it's A is equals to uh, square root of s, s minus a, s minus b times s minus c, where s now is the perimeter of the triangle. So s is usually gotten by a plus b plus c divided by 2. So let, for example, if you look at this example, we have triangle ABC with three sides. So let's write the formula first. We said it's a is equals to s square root of s s minus a, s minus b, uh, then s minus c, and we get s by a half, a plus b plus c. So you start first of all by getting the perimeter, which is our s, which is going to be a half, that is 5 plus 7 plus 6. So 5 plus 7 is 12. 12 plus 6 is 18. So it is a half times 18, which gives us 9. After that, now we incorporate this in our formula. So the area is going to be the square root of 9 into bracket 9 minus, we can take a as our 5, and then 9 minus 7, and then 9 minus 6. So this is the same as the square root of 9 times 9 minus 5 is going to give us 4. 9 minus 7 is 2 and 9 minus 6 is 3. So when we multiply the values inside, that is 9 times 4 times 2 times 3, we get 216. So we are getting the square root of 216. So the square root of 216 gives us 14.697. So that's the area and it is centimeters cubed, squared. So make sure you, of course, leave your answer in the correct uh, unit. Let's look at another example. So we have uh, this triangle with three sides. So we don't have to repeat the formula again. So we go straight into calculating the perimeter. So the perimeter is S is equals to be a half into bracket 7 plus 8 plus 9. So 7 plus 8 plus 9 gives us 24. So this is the same as a half times 24, which gives us 12. So our area is going to be A is equals to the square root of 12, 12 minus 7, 12 minus 8, 12 minus 9, which is going to be the square root of 12 times 12 minus 7 is going to give us 5, times 12 minus 8 is 4, times 12 minus 9 is 3. So when we do the inner values, that is 12, times 5, times 4, times 3, we get 720. So we do the square root of 720, which gives us the square root of 720 is 26.833. And it's going to be centimeters squared. So that's how we get the area. Let's do another example. Once again, we get the value of S, which is going to be 14 plus 17 plus 12, and everything we multiply by a half. So when you do 14 plus 17 plus 12, we get 43. 
So 43 divided by 2 gives us 21.5. So our area is going to be the square root of 21.5 into bracket 21.5 minus 14. 21.5 minus 12 and 21.5 minus 17. So this is the same as 21.5 multiplied by, so when we do 21.5 minus 14, we we'll get 7.5. And when you do 21.5 minus 12, you get 9.5 and finally when you do 21.5 minus 17 you get 4.5 so if we do any everything uh, in the square root that is 21.5 times 7.5 times 9.5 times 4.5 we get 6,893.44. 6, yeah, this is 4.5. So the square root of the answer we've got, and that is 6,893.44, gives us 83.03, .03, and it's going to be centimeters cubed. So that's our answer. And finally, the last question. A traditional stool has a triangular top. Is a triangular top. Um, so you can imagine how the stool looks like the, those old stools looks like that, and then probably has um, some structures to hold it in place. So it measures twenty seven centimeters 35 centimeters and 42 centimeters so the first thing we look for the perimeter which is a half 27 plus 42 plus 35 so 27 plus 42 plus 35 gives us 104 so it is a half times 104 so if you divide 104 by 2, we get 52. Next, we introduce now the formula. So it's going to be the square root of 52, and then 52 minus 27 times 52 minus 35 times 52 minus 42. So this is the same as. 52 times, so when you do 52 minus 27, you get 25. And when you do 52 minus 35, you get 17. And then 52 minus 42 gives you 10. So if you add everything inside the, if you multiply everything inside the square root, so that is 52 times 25 times 17 times 10 gives you 221,000. So if we do the square root of 221,000, it gives us 470.106. So centimeters cubed like in square not cubed so this is the area of that top so i hope you have been able to see how we calculate area using three sides so make sure you remember the formula is going to be very important especially as you do your calculations so you can check out more revision questions in your app and more notes on the same topic um, see you in the next lesson Thank you.